so hello friend uh, hello friend this is the last part of uh, lpsc 2016 electronics engineering technical session question papers as we have already discussed till question number 50 in last part so in this part we are going to complete from 51 to 75 so let us uh, come on question i already left that day so in the rms fellow of rectangular voltage wave with amplitude of 10 voltage so my dear friend in uh, if you will see a rect rect rectangular voltage so if it is like that okay so if you having zero this is having pi and they having 2 pi so in rectangular uh, if you will take the rms formula as you know what is the root under 1 by t t where is t is time period integration from 0 to t and what we your function is x dx then you will get the rms value of any function okay so like that we will put here a rectangular uh, rectangular um, voltage wave uh, um, for here and we will take from 0 to pi by 2 and then uh, then because this is only rectangular things so you will total things will take 0 to pi half thing is 0 to pi by 2 it will take a, a square way so if you will take the rectangular it ha we have to take 0 to pi by 2 then rms will will come here v rms of a rectum rectangular is equal to v peak while for pure a square wave that is vp by root 2 that is the difference for rectangular v rms is equal to the v peak and v uh, for a square wave this is vp by root 2 so this two difference you know earlier i told due to i have assumed that rectangular is a square wave so vp by root 2 i have told in this so option is 7.7 is coming but that is not correct correct so for a rectangular wave is voltage wave is coming then i will take vrms equal to v peak okay so 10 volt is uh, peak voltage for rectangular wave then uh, for this Uh, rms also will be 10 voltage only so option is t so that part i remain that day told so i have some confusion i will get a doubt clear then i will come so rectangular i have to take vrm is equal to the vp you remember and for a square wave vp by root 2 and already you know for sine wave vp by root 2 okay so now let's come to question number 51 <coughs> the question number 51 is uh, telling the bending of light wave as it passes between a material of different optical density the question is from your optic fiber optic so like fiber optic uh, cladding is there different in uh, cladding there in between core is there light is going and coming with with total internal reflection as you know so the bending of light wave between two medium from here Uh, thick medium here is thin medium so due to this density difference the light is bending this is due to refraction okay so uh, due to refraction bending of uh, lighting uh, things is happening in a optical density okay so uh, due to refraction in fiber optical density the bending of light is happening okay as you know in water also if any light is coming so this is a thin thin medium means a low dense medium and water is a high density medium so it will go a light there then it will refract it will become some bending then if it will go outside of the this water it will then again bend so this these due to the refraction only so same things happening in fiber optical medium when light is passing through a different optical density the light wave bend due to refraction okay so next question signal to noise ratio is in db as you know snr equal to snr equal to what signal energy by noise energy if you will take log both side and if we will calculate then it will come snr in db equal to 10 log signal energy by noise energy so if we calculate this things in decibel then 10 log signal energy by noise energy so option a is correct okay 
so you remember this if you want to calculate in decibel okay so next question 52 already over 53 antenna is an electrical device which convert electrical energy in electromagnetic wave and electro wave into electrical energy like that if you're going to transmit any signal then we are giving through our uh, all the amplifier to this antenna then this electrical energy is going to convert into electromagnetic wave and going to transmit while at receiving side this electromagnetic wave is coming to antenna and this antenna is converting this wave into electrical signal so antenna working in both things one this signal converting electromagnetic wave and as well as this also antenna is converting electromagnetic wave to electromagnetic signal where in receiver side at transmitter side electrical signal signal to electromagnetic wave it is converting this is transmitter side and this is the second receiver side so both a and b option is correct so option c is correct answer okay <clears throat> next question uh, the rf receiver ability to reject unwanted signal is called the so i just i want to tell earlier earlier question i have discussed these things see <clears throat> suppose i want to tune one channel so i want to just just find to that channel so uh, my dear friend suppose that channel i having some frequency f so i want to tune this only so i i want maximum gain of our receiver in here only so this is called tuning these things so okay but i want to reject all unwanted channels so what happens so here it will tune and other than that things it will reject so suppose other than f it will tune and and suppose i having one f unwanted frequency that receiver should reject this all the frequency it means gain should be zero here ideally and where we wanted desirable frequency gain should be high so the rf receiver ability to reject unwanted signal is called a selectivity while sensitivity to sense weaker to weaker signal and should differentiate between two signal that is called the sensitivity and signal to noise ratio you know efficiency as you know okay so ability to reject unwanted signal is called a selectivity of the receiver okay <clears throat> this is question from uh, communication system of receiver topic okay next question is this is question from basic electronics you can electronics basic electronics a uh, basic electrical so up signal not value is 8.85 into 10 to power 12 farad per meter that is very very basic question as you know coulomb's law you are using 1 by 4 pi epsilon not given to by r square where epsilon not is 8.85 into 10 to power minus 12 farad per meter okay so next questions uh, already 55 or 56 modulation is required i already discussed this is very deeply in vscc part 1 question paper of 2016 if after this finishing after your examination you are going to appear in hsfc examination as you know and bsc examination sts examination so go and watch that video also so to transmit electrical signal over an antenna through free space to improve the signal to noise ratio and to make the low frequency signal to travel a long distance this all required modulation let's write all the above all the above answer 56 d then 57 the twist complement as you know how to um, get the twist complement whatever getting 100 that 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 make make a uh, one's complement so one one should will be zero 0 1 and 0 0 0 0 0 so first you for getting a 2s complement first make this binary number into 1s complement then add 1 so what will come 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 so option b is answer 57 b okay so this is a 2s complement questions so next question is 58 what is the boolean expression of this given logic diagram as you know this is a 2 is to 1 max okay so as you max as you know so, uh, sorry uh, as you know what is the max if you max will get the input and one input and output okay and one select line is there so if suppose uh, 2 uh, we having 1 2 b and b bar and a is a select line okay so 
जीरो 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 वन वन जीरो वन वन ओके सो नाउ जीरो जीरो इफ यू हैव ए ऑल एक्टिव आई सपोज आई हैविंग ऑल द एक्टिव ओके सो इफ यू जीरो 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 सब बी एंड ए बी एंड ए यू हैविंग जीरो 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 एंड जीरो वन इंटू जीरो इंटू जीरो एंड दिस इज जीरो दिस इज द वन सो लाइक दैट मक्स इज वर्किंग्स नाउ वी हैव टू सी इफ बी एंड ए ओके B and this is the B bar, na? So B and A. So whenever each uh, uh, input is one, it is getting one, and whenever input is zero and one, it is getting the zero. So it is uh, working as a. We can tell this is working as a uh, XOR gate. Okay. So once if check. Uh, this is working as a XOR gate. Just one a check in 58 questions. I will get back here uh, after this, and you also comment me what is option it is coming to here. So uh, this uh, this is the concept of I, I told marks to each to one marks. Now this things working as a uh, as a this is the XOR gate. Okay. so whenever things is equal uh, one one it is giving one and all it is giving the zero so which gate is this to table you tell me and you, you can give me in, in comment box okay uh, okay so next question is uh, 59 a tri state logic a tri state logic is in a digital device when we having three state either low state or yeah, high state so these two input will give either if you give logic one then it will go high or logic will will give the low third state is there in this uh, special logic that will having a very high impedance state that will not give anything It's like that one switch is there if this is open this is the very high impedance state whatever you will give one as zero it will not give anything suppose then uh, suppose this all are like that If you're giving one, it will come one. That means highest uh, logic. And if you having one uh, activated or uh, logic here, you will put in one. You will give one into one. If you give zero in zero, it means zero. But you give any logic one and whatever here. But if switch is open, this is called high impedance logic. This is the tri-state buffer logic. So uh, quantization logic devices have a high three-state, high, low, and high impedance option. See, go and read in digital electronics or Google tri-state buffer. You will get this thing. Okay. Next question is fifty-nine, <coughs> sixty. What is the following? What what does the following flip-flop configurable does? Okay. So uh, let us come my dear friend. What does the follow following flip-flop configurable does? Okay. Uh, now suppose this is the D flip-flop. Suppose I am giving one, it will come here one, it will come here zero. so output suppose output is one okay so output is one next again it will be here zero as this is giving to feeding to us here so it will give zero then it will come zero again it will uh, come if if it is coming if it is next it will give one it will come zero then again zero this will come it is looking like 1 to 0 0 to 1 means only one bit counter working as a one bit counter so it act as a one bit counter okay so because every bit we are going to one or zero it is output going to one then zero then counting one and it is coming zero so working as a one bit counter next is 61 This is very conceptual question. Already asked in 2015 BSSC examination when I was a peer that time. So this is same question they have taken here. That's why I am telling always, always um, um, give attention to previous question. You will get three to five, five to six question easily. You will get. So if any n number of flip flop, if you having add in serially. Like that, like that, like that, and suppose if input you are giving here, 
सो आउटपुट फ्रीक्वेंसी इज इक्वल टू एफ वाई टू टू पावर एन ओके सो इट विल बी डिवाइडेड बाई टू टू पावर एन दैट इट इज कॉल्ड अ मोड काउंटर ओके सो नाउ आई टोल्ड एनी फ्लिप फ्लॉप वन टू थ्री फोर एन नंबर ऑफ फ्लिप फ्लॉप इज कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज सपोज फर्स्ट फ्लिप फ्लॉप वी गिविंग ए एफ इनपुट फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ एफ देन वाउट इट विल आउटपुट ऑफ द लास्ट फ्लिप फ्लॉप दैट इज एफ इक्वल टू 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 पावर एन वे आर एन इज ए नंबर ऑफ फ्लिप फ्लॉप ओके एंड ईच एंड एवरी फ्लिप फ्लॉप इफ सपोज इंडिविजुअल सी ईच एंड एवरी फ्लिप फ्लॉप विल बी डिवाइडेड बाई टू फ्रीक्वेंसी विल बी अलवेज हाफ इफ यू गिव वन फ्रीक्वेंसी एफ एयर इनपुट एंड आउटपुट विल बिकम हाफ ऑफ दैट फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ ईच इंडिविजुअल फ्लिप फ्लॉप ओके सो नाउ सी first i will see these two things i there according to question we are recovering 1 megahertz so i can write 1000 kilohertz okay for 1 megahertz okay i can write so here it will come half only so 500 kilohertz now this input is coming to this flip flop then output art will come half again then 250 kilohertz option is b now according to formula what i told if n number of flip flop where n equal to 2 output should be f equal to total frequency by 2 to the power n is 2 to the power 4 so 1 megahertz by 4 it will come 250 kilohertz so understood each flip flop will uh, divide by 2 of frequency and cumulative flip flop 2 by n frequency okay so you understood i think so option is 250 kilohertz Next 62. A decade counter is always known as modulo 10 counter. Decade counter means mod 10 counter means modulo 10 counter. Okay. So option C. The distance between point P. Okay. I am giving here. Origin is here. So distance between point P. P is some point where two, three, and four coordinate is there. So they are asking what is the distance between This point with one origin x y z x y and z axis. Okay, origin here. So what will be the distance between point P and with respect to this origin? So this is the uh, engineering mathematics mathematics uh, uh, questions. I already discuss in syllabus topic what they are going to ask. Each and every topic I am telling from where it is question is coming. Okay, so let's come. So coordinate formula is. x1 minus x2 the whole square plus x2 minus x2 plus whole square plus x3 minus x3 the whole square this coordinate formula is there so all uh, if so uh, according to this what have, will come root under uh, all the second is origin so 2 minus 0 whole square plus 3 minus 0 whole square plus 4 minus 0 whole square root under all so we will calculate 4 And then nine and sixteen, nine twenty-five, and put root under twenty. It will come. So option is A. So this is the coordinate geometric questions. Which of the following is not a scalar quantity? A scalar quantity means that which don't have the part direction. Only magnitude they having. So time having no direction, mass having no direction, volume having no direction. Okay, acceleration having direction as well as magnitude. So this is the Vector quantity. So this is not a scalar quantity. Sixty four D answer. This is the vector quality quantity. Sixty five. From a circular plate of diameter six centimeter, a circle is cut out whose diameter is radius of the plate. Area of the remaining plate is okay. Uh, so this is the basic mathematics tenth tenth questions. So they are telling one plate is there which diameter is six. So radius is obviously three. Okay. Now it is telling. A circle is cut whose diameter is radius of the plate. Okay, so diameter is three. Oh, sorry, diameter is six. Radius is three. So one circle is cut from here, where diameter is according to radius of the earlier plate. So what will the remaining plate area? So as we earlier know in tenth classes, uh, what if we want to cut from these things, we just find remaining area, full area, minus cut area so full area is pi and r is 6 then r is 3 a square minus again it is 3 then uh, half of the this diameter will come the uh, radius so pi minus 1.5 to the whole square you will calculate this you will get approx 
just one minute around 27 pi by 4 square will get so 65 b answer you just calculate and comment to me okay next question is 66 a car start from rest and accelerated to infinity over time of 6 seconds for a distance here something is missing uh, here we here i think this is the um, <coughs> this around something here uh, one or yeah, something one meter is okay so what with the acceleration of the car so as you know car start from the rest then initial velocity is u equal to zero and in formula over a time t equal to six second and distance is equal to one meter okay so what will be the acceleration by this car so this is the linear motion questions as you know we having three formula e equal to v plus a t then s equal to u t plus half a t square and third formula is v s square equal to u s square plus 2 e s where s is a distance as expression u is initial velocity v is a final velocity okay uh, so according to this be having the initial rest then u equal to 0 and v we are not got but informally accelerated so uh, and so we want we have to calculate acceleration only so time is given distance is given so we should uh, use s equal to ut plus half at square this is the from physics applied physics question so u is 0 so it will go 0 so s equal to remaining half a t a square so t you put 6 and a s equal to 1 so you will get around 10 meter per second okay so you will put a uh, around you will put a uh, actually distance is not uh, here clearly uh, it will if you put here a uh, whatever distance I will check one second original questions then it will be we will find which is the answer but s equal to ut plus half at a square you like this question any question then we will get the answer because your distance not coming that's why we cannot get the answer which answer is correct okay so find the derivative of the fx equal to 1x square this is the dy dt equal to uy v okay so how how will increase I'll take so x square the whole square if you leave x square then you have to do nothing then one then one this is zero and then one you leave then x square this is 2x so what remaining out outside minus 2x by x4 so x x cut so minus 2 by x q is remaining so minus 2 by x q is option a is differentiation of 1 by x square okay this is applied uh, mathematics questions next question is 68 for an observer the red shift happen red shift happen when light uh, other electromagnetic radiation from an object is increased in wavelength is shifted to the red end of the spectrum this phenomenon is due to any apparent shift due to change in observer or yeah, change of the source is called the doppler shift this is the standard a standard statement of the doppler shift so Please uh, once again you google it the plus part is the doppler sheet you will understand this concept okay this is from applied physics next gprs is global positioning radio service okay 70 70 number question is telling uh, name of the following graph a b c d so four option is there we have to choose which graph this all having so let us come i will directly i will tell you this is going from origin and so this is going from origin so it's look like y equal to x x equal to 0 y equal to 0 x equal y equal to x now this is also same thing but x is going here negative side but here x is not going negative side if x is going negative side then y is not going negative so y is coming positive only so y equal to mod of the x this is means modulus x graph this is so one way i am writing y equal to x this is and this is y equal to mod of the x means x you send negative but y it will always come the positive this is 
simply exponential e to power x y equal to e to power x now this is a, a, a straight line equation y equal to mx plus c okay like that equation is there so if m is 1 then x plus c if c is positive means it will always cut on y axis negative y, positive y axis if c is negative means it is cutting the negative y axis now see the uh, option which option is compared to our things so first y equal to x okay fx equal to x then b y equal to mod x then fx equal to mod x fx means y function okay so fx equal to e to power x then e to power x and fx to x plus something c then x plus 2 this and i already told if it is, it is cutting or intersecting on intercepting on positive y axis then it will come positive interception it is cutting negative y axis then it will come negative so, so option a only correct answer okay so 70 over next 71 the structure programming see this i already told some of the question is asking from come particularly this lpsc fellow i will asking from this c programming concept so if anybody knowing the c programming diploma level then it is good otherwise not a problem three to two to three question will come you focus on another part of the subject you will get marks from there okay so a structure programming is any programming which having a structure program will divide the program into different different modules that's why it will come the structure program is optional which one of the following most appropriate description algorithm algorithm is a source to code uh, wrong execution image no, wrong object file a statement lying down to down a step by step execution of the program is called the algorithm so option d next question is 73 the identification given to a computer connection to a network is known as a, any computer connection which identification were given to on a particular network is called the ip address as you know uh, already you know so ip address so next question is which of the following device used for modulation and demodulation modem modem i already told in previous a uh, question paper while i am discussing for vsc modem means modulator plus demodulator is called the modem okay so um, option c next and last question of the this the paper is uh, what is the current through the general data this question directly taken from same type of the question in 2019 uh, electronics engineering scientist examination 2009 sorry 2009 so what will be the output so as you know this is the you know this is the source and this is the source resistance this is the general regulator so general regulator always keep the uh, constant voltage output so it will always ha having 6 volt here and here 13 volt here so if one loop you will start then what will write minus 30 into i into r minus 6 equal to 0 so directly i am writing here uh, current i equal to 13 minus this 6 volt by total resistance 1 kilo ohm 1 into 10 to power 3 it will come 7 by 10 to power 3 and 10 to power 3 will go upside then it will come 10 to power minus 3 so that is 7 milliampere so option b is correct so that's its friend uh, i have completed before your examination of lpsc uh, I want to tell one things before going to uh, your examination. In LPS examination, there are so much questions will come as you seen in this question paper theoretical and more conceptual question will come. So my dear friend, when you are attempting the question in your examination, please be calm and read the question again and again and um, watch carefully what are going to uh, marking OMR sheet so uh, as you will uh, start today or tomorrow your general journey please uh, download this uh, this video and watch through your journey on rail a yeah, bus you will get the benefit it one or two question always will repeat from here so thank you thank you for watching this video and we will be meet for next examination preparation for HSFC, we will solve the 
all the examination paper of URAC as pattern is same and eh? HTSC examination. So thank you, thank you very much.